Hello, my name is Jim D'Amico. I'm one of the apparatus committee members with the City of Clovis Fire Department. Today we're currently doing a Blue Room floor inspection on a 110 foot Pierce Velocity Puck uh, Aerial. Uh, this is going to be our first uh, aerial with a basket. Uh, our department has recently uh, been using the 105 straight stick, so the basket's a new upgrade for us. Uh, the vehicle's a 525 horsepower Detroit diesel motor. Uh, some of the uh, features that are probably uh, unique to our ladder truck compared to others is uh, we work in near Fresno, California, which is extremely hot during the summertime. And one of the issues that we have is uh, obviously the excessive heat. So one of the features that we installed on our uh, ladder truck was we added an additional Kuzmal port with an auxiliary RV air conditioner. Uh, the biggest benefit of this auxiliary air conditioner is it keeps all of our turnout gear nice and cool so our firefighters don't suffer heat stress uh, getting into their PPE going en route to a structure fire. So uh, we started this on our previous engine. It's been a huge success, so we incorporated it into our new fleet. Additional features that, uh, that may be unique is the uh, electric uh, fold-down steps. Uh, this is our first Velocity. We have been a Pierce uh, Quantum customer. Uh, the biggest thing that we liked about the Velocity is electric uh, air actuating steps. Uh, you don't have to worry about any pneumatic air leaks or whatnot that are associated with uh, air steps. Looking inside the apparatus, uh, the white air conditioning unit, that's the auxiliary uh, AC unit that we just previously discussed. These roll-up EMS compartments to the left, the intent for those is to store our PPE, our helmets, and bunker gear. Uh, the other thing that we transitioned was we put a solo firefighter seat in the front without a SCBA air pack for a more comfortable ride. Then during structure fires, the firefighter will switch out to one of the outboard seats with an SCBA uh, pack in the seat. Uh, we've also transitioned to vinyl cover seats to help clean and decontaminate the cab after structure fires. As I mentioned earlier, this is a 1,500 gallon per minute uh, puck pump with a 500 gallon water tank and a class A foam cell is uh, what we're operating. We have uh, two 200 foot, uh, inch and three quarter cross lays, and the missing one in the top is gonna be a two, uh, 200 foot, two and a half inch cross lay, and a couple backboards for storage in the uh, cross tunnel. Uh, if I haven't previously mentioned it, our ladder truck is also an all wheel steer uh, ladder truck, which is uh, fairly unique. Our city has uh, many tight apartment complexes. This is our third all-wheel steer style ladder truck. This is our first one with a T3 suspension. Uh, so we're really excited for the improved um, road performance, uh, going over speed bumps, et cetera, to help in increase our response times. This ladder truck is a first out quint, so it runs out of the station by itself. The, for the rear of the apparatus, uh, we've added, any, any time we found a, a void space, we tried to add a compartment can never have enough compartment space. So this was a void space that Pierce recommended. This is gonna be where our rapid intervention pack is gonna go. Ground ladders, we have the typical uh, 35, 24, a couple roof ladders, a few attic ladders, pike poles and New York hooks and uh, rubbish hooks. With this being a quint, uh, we have this set up to run uh, 600 feet of five inch LDH with uh, couplings every 50 feet. Um, looking up towards the ladder, we have our, our Stokes basket storage on the aerial ladder. We also included a 200 foot reel line for small nuisance fires like trash can fires or small roadside grass fires. And one of the things if you uh, pan around inside the cab is we're really looking to streamline and reduce the amount of clutter that we have in our apparatus. So we've relocated our map trays to the sides of the EMS containers to basically only have the MDC mount for the computers. The only thing that's really gonna be mounted on the um, tunnel. We may mount our thermal imaging camera uh, to the side of the officer. But other than that, that's going to be the only accessory that's going to be mounted. So we're really trying to look for a nice, clean, streamlined cab that has as many distractions as po or the least number of distractions as possible. 
Well, I'd like to thank you for taking a few minutes to watch our video. If anybody has any questions about the apparatus we've specified, please go to your dealer and I'd be more than happy to any, uh, any questions that you may have about this apparatus.